I wanted to shoot a pretty quick and to the point video talking about the lead within a sales letter. You can use leads in places other than sales letters and I think you'll get ideas as to how you can use them as I explain what a lead is and how to write a really effective lead. So I love opening up my sales letters with leads and what the lead basically is is a powerful reason or a number of reasons to keep your prospects or your traffic reading. So we start with something like in this short presentation, in this video, in this letter, I'm going to reveal and then everything that comes after that that you're going to reveal, that you're going to educate them about, um, myths that you're going to shatter, that is all in the lead and I find that you can note you can get really great examples of leads from letters in the prepper niche the survivalist niche or the self preparedness niche so if you look at something like backyard liberty you can just google that and find the sales letter for it that's an outstanding outstanding lead um, and just to pick that one apart a little bit they basically start by saying there's a hushed conspiracy. Why is it hushed? Because it would generate hysteria. So they answer the question, you know, why is it hushed? Um, only people who know the truth about this will survive and thrive. And I'm going to tell you all about it right within this presentation. Another really important thing that you can do with your lead is open up with specific fascinations. So things like, did you know? Do you know why you should never grill meat in a crisis? Do you know why 99% of stockpiles are going to be raided or looted or um, seized by the government? You know, I'm going to explain all of this to you and more right within this letter. So come up with specific, valuable um, tidbits, pieces of information that you can share and tell them up front that you're going to be sharing this with them. This way you're authoritative, you're delivering value, in a way you're giving results and um, value in advance and of course you're compelling people to keep reading by telling them I'm going to share this amazing um, information with you that not a lot of people know about. So those are just examples of different types of things you can include within the lead and by doing this you're opening up all sorts of loops, right? You're um, starting something and you're going to finish it a little later so you're opening up a loop. So the three types of loops you can open here are loops about revealing things that they don't already know but they want to know and opening loops that confirm their beliefs. People are always going to want to absorb more of what you say when they know you're going to confirm one of their beliefs. So in thinking about the preparedness niche like we're doing, um, they say right off the bat that right off the bat in backyard liberty, um, there is a huge government conspiracy. It's being totally hushed up. That's what their market believes. So now the people who land on that page know they're going to have their beliefs confirmed. So they're going to be like, yes, like I knew it all along. I have to see more details about this. So think of the beliefs that your prospects have, um, but they don't have enough, you know, it hasn't been proven yet. And how can you sort of massage them into that and um, prove these beliefs that they have for them, they're definitely going to want to absorb that type of stuff and it's going to hook them, be it to continue watching a video, to continue reading a letter, to sign up for emails from you, whatever it may be. So now you get a sense of all the different ways you can use um, the material that you craft for your leads throughout all of your marketing. Other type of loops that you open or are about shattering myths or revealing little known truths like we said we touched upon that earlier um, so think about the things that your target market believes to be myths like oh um, that's just all in the media I know that that's not really true tell them there's been a huge uh, news story in the media about something or other 
but it's a total fraud, and I'm going to explain why. Again, people are you know who believe that it's a myth, they're going to uh, want to absorb that material the exact same way we do with the first type of loops that we open up. And then the third are these authoritative, uh, benefit-rich, results in advance type of loops where I'm going to show you the one mistake um, 99% of people who believe they're prepared make that actually leaves them more vulnerable than ever. You know, something like that. And of course, throughout all of these examples, you're using the specific words that your target market uses. You're familiar with the jargon. You're talking about things you know that they're interested in because you're an expert in this marketplace and you infuse all of your copy with these really mm -hmm. specific, hard hitting words that relate to your market. So, Again, from now on, when you start off your sales letters, there's so many different ways stylistically to do it as well. You can list off a couple of bullet points right off the bat. In this letter, we're going to talk about blah, blah, blah. If you have more of a sales page, that's not really so much a letter. And I could definitely talk to you guys about the difference between a sales page and a sales letter um, in another video. So if you have something that's more like a sales page, you can just sort of weave throughout and use different um, little headlines and subheadlines like the one reason you shouldn't cook meat in a crisis, um, the, the hushed up government conspiracy, and things like that. Again, to just suck people right into your marketing material and your sales letter. So I think that was everything I had uh, to quickly go through about leads and how they make your sales letters and all anywhere you use them so much more powerful and compelling and the reasons why. So I hope you enjoyed that. I did want to share a couple of updates. Um, please subscribe to this channel if you like it. If you, you know, just like hearing me talk marketing, it would help me know that people like it and I'll keep doing it. You can of course ask questions and I am getting in questions and I'm putting together my answers for them and I'm going to film those as well. So make sure you stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk with you next week. Bye. YouTube thinks it knows you super duper well. Mm -hmm. They think you know which video you should watch next. Click over and see if they were right. I'll see you over there.